Right, so I seem to have made it to a week, so let's go and see if we can finish said week. And uh, just to celebrate, I guess we'll show, we'll go past everything we've done so far this week. Okay, so let's get on with that. So, today's planting is a bit of a penance for a previous mishap of planting, as it were, where I put a line of bamboos in, bamboo in along uh, where I thought was outside of the way of a fence line, but two of them were going to be in the way of the fence line when it went in. Um, so, they've been attempted to be dug up several times, um, and several small bamboos I've planted over the years have actually come from those poorly placed two clumps. Uh, today I had another go at digging up one of the clumps. I dug up about a tenth of it, which gives me two usable pieces to plant. Um, this is Bamboos of Vulgaris, which is actually quite a useful bamboo, not just for timber, not like sort of big structural timber, but sort of general usage timber, but also it can be eaten when it's in the young phases. And unlike a lot of bamboos, it doesn't have a catastrophic flowering, so even though it does occasionally lose part of the culm to flat part of the clump to flowering there will always be some columns that don't flower and so it will carry on um, and it doesn't seem to be fertile so it doesn't seem to produce seeds when it flowers which means although it is a very aggressive species its invasion capacity is limited now I'm planting it here between mango trees in the hope that it will help limit the uh, disease transmission between the trees that it, it, it is very good for that and it also seems to encourage a little bit more vigorous flowering and fruiting in some of the mango trees um, when it's at the right distance from them, so it's sort of giving them a little bit more humidity as it gathers more humidity in the cold season, and it's also keeping them sheltered from the worst of the wind and sun. Um, I'm not doing any companion planting with them, but for bamboo is not great at sharing space, especially the giant bamboos, they tend to murder most things that haven't specifically evolved to grow in amongst bamboo, which is few and far between. Um, they will quite quickly probably exclude a lot of the grasses and annuals that are growing close to them. I will be using the leaves that fall off them, so they shouldn't completely wipe out the area, but it should also reduce the uh, sort of flammability of this immediate area. If you notice that I've spent a while of this video uh, brutally murdering a couple of pretty flowering shrubs, those are Lantana camara, which is an invasive weed, and like bamboo, ironically, uh, also tends to exclude germination right close to it once it gets sort of dominant in an area. Um, it is from central Mexico and it's a very pretty plant, uh, but people should never have brought it here as an ornamental. Anyway, so that should be it for today. So thank you for watching and tune in tomorrow to see how next week is going to go.